Hi friends, the next topic we'll be learning is capital structure. Capital means money. So capital structure refers to the way in which the money is issued for doing business. For explaining this concept, we'll be again taking the example of John. John wanted to start some business. He needed $2,000 for the same. When he checked his reserves and savings, he found out that he has got only $1,000. So, what does he do now? He needs more money. He got very worried. He approaches his friend Smurf and asks her, how do I arrange the rest of the money? Smurf was a smart lady. She guides him to go to a bank and ask for help. John likes the idea and so he goes to a bank. John explains his problem to the bank and the bank says, yes, we'll give you a thousand dollar, but you'll have to pay an extra interest of 10% to us at the end of the year and keep your gold watch as security. John agrees to the conditions that the bank plays and he took the thousand dollar for his business. His business went on quite well for few months but after few months he realized that he needs more money. What does he do now? He again got worried. Now he was not sure this time if he'll be able to pay the interest along with the money that he issues from the bank because he was not sure if his business will make profit or loss. Hence, the option of bank was no more any option. John had to again consult his friend Smurf. Smurf guides him to borrow money from the people. John likes the idea. He goes to the people up and explains them his business idea. He says that we'll be sharing the profits equally. Now the profits could go either ways, positive or negative. That is, if he makes profit, he'll be sharing the profit. If he makes loss, they'll have to bear the loss along with him. People gave their money to John. He got $1,000 in all. He got $100 from 10 different people. So he got $1,000. Now, let's see from which all sources the money came. He invested $1,000 of his own, borrowed $1,000 from the bank and $1,000 from people. So in total, he invested $3,000 in his company. Now, at the end of the first year, what happened was, this $3,000 made a profit of $500 and hence, he got 3500 in the end. So, he needed to decide how this money should be distributed. As promised to the bank, he had to give 1000 plus 10% interest on 1000 rupees, that is 100, hence 1100 rupees to the bank. The rest of the money, that is 2400, was divided in the ratio in which he took the money. So, he took 1200 and gave 1200 to the people. Now let's see what we have learned here. The money that he issued from bank is popularly known as debt. John had 10 shares of public and 10 shares of himself. This money is known as equity. The people who invest in equity are also the owners of the company. The expensive gold watch which John kept with bank as security is known as collateral. These two terms, debt and equity, will come very frequently in finance. So it's good if you get familiar with these. So we feel that finance is never tough. I hope you had a good session. Thank you.